Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my first ever unboxing well, of anything. Yet funnily enough it's not the first ever requested unboxing. In fact no one's requested this, I just think it's cool so we're going to do it. Incidentally, if you are the kind of person that likes unboxing, one, please let me know what you think of this video. Two, let me know if you would like to see more in the future. Three, tell me why people like unboxings. I only like one on YouTube, if I'm dead honest. But anyway, the thing we're going to unbox today, if you didn't read the title, is the Sonic the Hedgehog toaster thing. Now, this came from the Sega store online. The biggest pisser about that website is they have so much cool stuff. So much cool stuff. They don't deliver to the UK. Cunt. Just, just cunt on that one, I'm afraid. Cause cunt. Because the only store we've got that's Sega-wise for UK is one where we can get custom cushions and custom cups and stuff. Don't care about any of that. But one really weird thing is a little while ago they had a strange little Sonic toaster thing going on. And Sega was trying to get everyone to buy one. They left it on Twitter, Facebook, or I left a comment on the Twitter one, I believe, saying, I would buy one, but you don't fucking deliver to the UK. Then Sega replied to me and said, uh, we do for this. Wait, what? Buy now. So here we have it. Haven't even checked it out yet. It is in there, though. So, without further ado, let's actually do this. How the fuck? Okay. Bubble wrap for the children to play with. Sellotape, my old nemesis. Haha. <laughs> ah, there we are. Ah. Right. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Sonic the Hedgehog Limited Edition. Gotta go fast. No, gotta toast fast? What? Okay. Here's my biggest question of this picture. Toast. Awesome. Sonic the Hedgehog on toast. Awesome. Why is there an orange? What's that got to do with anything? Mm. Oh, there's a bit of writing on the back. I shall read it out to you. <sighs> hey you! Yes, you with the face reading this note. You know what? You're pretty great. You're one of the chosen few who helped make this toast a reality. Without you, we'd be forever doomed to the same boring, generic, crispy bread. So from all of us at Sega, here's a toast to you. Ha fucking ha. Thank you for making our fans' dreams come true. Who dreamed of this? Really? Don't get me wrong, Sonic the Hedgehog on anything makes anything better. Seriously. The only way you could improve a scantily clad maiden in a very thin bikini is if the bikini had little blue hedgehogs printed all over it. Just imagine that for a minute. You know I'm right. Bit more writing on the side. Are you tired of the same old toast? Yes, because I don't eat it. Do you find yourself constantly on the go? And a need... Huh? And need a quick breakfast before you head out to collect those rings? Ha ha. Well, do we have the toaster for you? Yeah, this one. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is that it's from America, so there's probably an American plug, if you know what I mean. Luckily, I have a converter, so I want to open this up and we'll actually try some test. Right over there. Oh, 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 oh. And away. Ah. See that? American plug. Sure hope I don't burn this place down. Or toast it. <laughs> Look at that. I'll try not to get too much glare from the light, seeing as it's obviously a very shiny metal. I only have one problem. You probably won't be able to see this on the camera, but I will try my very best. You see the slight lines there? It's been scratched on the inside! The polystyrene does nothing! So that's obviously incredibly, credibly shit. Just thinking madly, wouldn't it be great if you could plug this into your Mega Drive? Collect 50 rings, bread pops up. Or toast. So as for buttons, we've got Cancel, Defrost, Reheat and Bagel. 
fucking bagel has its own option. Okay. And of course we got the twisty knob for twisting. I do really like the basic design though, if I'm honest. Just the fact that it's just Sonic's head with the little copyright Sega underneath. It's quite a nice sleek design. The fact that it's a dual toaster, not gonna lie. I bought the thing and didn't even realize till opening the box. It's dual toaster. I thought it was the single one that can only do one bit of bread at a time. So that c gives you an idea of how much attention I pay to the things that I pay for. Okay, I'm about to test it, but in case you've bought one or you want to buy one, you need one of these. Step down converter. Uh, I think I once, yeah, ages ago, years ago, I once did a video on a program I gave up on called Retro for Less, telling you about these. If you want to want to know more about that, just go to my channel, properly into it, and use the little search icon for Retro for the number less. You'll see it. But you will need one of these. Having said that, wouldn't it suck if I blow this fucker up now? I always worry about it with new equipment from America. And now, some bread. Observe, no hedgehog. No idea if I've got it on the right setting. Wouldn't it be funny if I just burn the fucker black? How long does it take to toast toast? That's a genuine question. I don't have, I don't eat toast. I eat chocolate. That's why I'm a fatty fatty fuck fuck. That's done a wicked job. As you can see, there is fuck all. <laughs> Shit! I am now attempting to turn up the heat. It goes all the way to seven. But, but I, I don't want it to be completely nuked. It was on three before. Clearly that was the wrong option. So what the fuck did I just put it on? Five and a half-ish. Cause, Cause math. Um... My converter has smoke coming out of it. I shit you not. Actual smoke. Um, yeah. Whatever that's doing, it's, it's not worth having an electrical fire. Look at this. See that? I'm going to turn that off. Wow. I have plugged in so many things to this converter before and it's been fine. But fucking hell. Right, I'm going to unplug that in the mains. Hang on. So. <laughs> it's not gone well. Fuck. It hasn't gone very well for my first ever unboxing video because I've nearly had a fire. After joking about having a fire. To anyone out there that wants to buy this toaster, don't use it. But, wow, I am boggled. That is truly insane. This is going to be nothing more than a display collector's piece for me now. Because that was fucking dangerous. I would have loved to have held on to see if it toasted the damn bread. But not at the risk of burning my fucking house down. And I'm not even going to risk it with that converter. I'm going to buy a new one now because that's scary. So thank you very much for watching my unboxing of a very dangerous toaster. Are they all like this? Does anyone else in the UK have one that nearly burned their fucking house down? Watch out. Very cool thing, but very much watch the fuck out. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.